The RTX 3000 series is among us, and this is the RTX 3080 that I have in my hands. It's the Founders Edition, and today's video, you're probably thinking, what's the title and the thumbnail about, Brian? Because I'm expecting a review. Well, this is going to tie in perfectly with my review, which I'm gonna be live streaming very soon. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit that sub button and ring that bell. And also, if you wanna help me out on the algorithm, be sure to hit that like button for us. But basically the RTX 3080, you are getting so much GPU for that $700 price point. Or if you're in Australia, 1139 Aussie dollars. Now, one interesting thing about these graphics cards is that they have HDMI 2.1 native port and support on board. And unexpectedly, I'm calling these cards the 4K revolution in my review. And the reason being is because LG have supported 4K 120 Hertz on their OLED displays since 2019 in the form of the B9 and the C9 models and also other models too. But these are the value choices. And then this year they've got the BX and the CX models, which also support 4K 120 Hertz. However, since the graphics cards that are previously out didn't support HDMI 2.1, then you actually couldn't enable 120 Hertz 4K. However, this graphics card, I took it over to my brother's house. He has a LG 65 inch C9 TV. Now the first thing we had to do was update the firmware on his TV because before that it was only 4K 60 Hertz. The second thing I needed was a HDMI 2.1 cable. It's very important to get a proper cable that will support this. Otherwise your screen will just go black because the cable can't support the throughput rates or basically the transmission rates in order to support 4K 120 Hertz. So now you've got your computer ready, you've got your firmware updated, your cable hooked up from your graphics card to your monitor or your TV in this case. And all you have to do is go to the Nvidia control panel and select 120 Hertz. And you are now gaming in 4K OLED and getting really good response time. So here's where the second part of the 4K revolution comes into play because these TVs are not just TVs. They double down as gaming monitors so well. And there's a few reasons behind this. The first being the response times on these monitors are absolutely incredible. When I opened up my 1000 FPS camera, we can see here that the response times are lower than one millisecond. And this pretty much beats out all the current technology on the market, including TN panels and also VA and IPS. But another thing too, however, when you are gaming, you want low input lag. And in this case, I tested out the numbers with the 1000 FPS camera also to have about five to 10 milliseconds in input lag. This input lag is quite simply phenomenal for 4K gaming, where I'm used to testing input lag numbers at 1080p, but since the throughput is so much heavier on the GPU and also the cable and the TV, you can expect a little bit more input lag because of that. However, five to 10 milliseconds is very good considering you are now gaming, and this is the most important part, with OLED, which the backlighting is so good for your eyes, giving you better reds and greens because it emits light through those spectrums. Where most of those monitors that you get in your house have cheap blue LEDs at the core and your eyes don't see detail through blue light. These are facts. Another fact is the RTX 3080 is the real deal. If you guys have been waiting out for one of these, then you definitely got my approval here at Tech Yes City. But keep in mind, 1080p gaming, you're not going to see much of a difference. Even 1440p gaming, you're not going to see as big as a difference as you will see at 4K where you're now not held back as much by your CPU and other constraints in your system, and the GPU can be left to do all the work that it can do. However, I'm sure there's gonna be the question out there where someone says, this is nothing new. There's already the 4K 120 Hertz OLED from Alienware. However, the problem with that TV is that at least in Australia, this thing costs 7,000 Aussie dollars. I mean, come on, even Jeff Bezos would have a hard time coughing up that money for a 4K 55 inch TV. Though with the LG OLEDs coming in at a third of the price with pretty much the same specs, possibly even better input lag and response times because I haven't tested the Alienware monitor, it just makes it such a better buy for your money. And so there it is with the RTX 3080 and its capabilities of HDMI 2.1. 
Now, this is only one of the augmented benefits of the RTX 3080 and of course the 3000 series. But basically at 700 bucks, this thing is offering phenomenal 4K value for a GPU. And of course, to get that experience on those 4K monitors, you're gonna want the best GPU possible. And besides the RTX 3090, this card right here is going to mark the best for 4K gaming. And coming in at 700 bucks, that price tag really isn't a half bad ask for what it's going to give you. Now, another thing in today's video, I've only shown two of the models out of the whole series of lineups. I can't vouch for other models, but the models I had here was the RTX 3080 Founders and also the ASUS Tough Gaming. Both of these had the HDMI 2.1s and they worked fine with the LG C9. So I can confirm that this combination will give you 4K OLED 120 Hertz. Now, one important thing is this is only for the 3000 series. Older series graphics cards like RTX 2000 and also AMD counterpart cards at this point in time don't have native HDMI 2.1. So they won't give you support for the 4K 120 Hertz over HDMI cables because they don't have that native HDMI 2.1 built in. And since the LG TVs only have HDMI 2.1 in, at least the 2019 and 2020 models, you will need one of these 3000 cards, or of course, future upcoming graphics card models to be able to get this combo that you're seeing in today's video. Though the TVs. Now the good thing is about these TVs is they aren't actually that expensive for what they are. I believe in the US you can get them for as low as 1400 USD. In Australia, you can pick them up on sale at the moment on eBay for 2400 Aussie delivered. And coupled with the GPU and everything else, sure, it's gonna be more expensive than the used price performance systems you're seeing here on the channel, but at the same time, it's going to give you a whole different experience of PC gaming. And honestly, this is why I'm calling it the 4K revolution. However, this isn't without teething issues since the drivers and also the TV module themselves probably aren't used to this just yet. I did have some problems with the G-Sync compatibility when I tried to boot up CSGO, for example, it just went to a black screen and then said no signal. So I'm sure things like this will get updates in the drivers and also the firmware on the TV themselves from LG. Though in the process, you can game at 4K 120 Hertz and you'll have a, what I simply call a breathtaking experience. Though another thing is too, you can get 10 bit HDR support out of these TVs and also within Windows itself, which makes your gaming experience even that much better. Anyway guys, I hope this video has helped you out in making some decisions, especially in the world of PC gaming. If it did, be sure to toss us that like and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. And also check out my review, which is coming very soon too. Peace out for now, bye.